I'm Parker Reem. The countdown is on. Just six more weeks till Baylor football, and we can't wait here at Fox 44 to get started. So we jump started our coverage a little bit early. Starting today, we'll preview each of Baylor's 2022 football opponents and tell you a little bit about them. Of course, that means tonight we start with Albany, the rowdy dogs from the FCS. <laughs> We start our schedule previews with the first opponent in Baylor football's 2022 campaign, the Great Danes from Albany. Fresh off Baylor's Big 12 championship, the Bears look to take over at the top of the Big 12 conference. But the road to the top is long, and it starts with Albany. This year's team is not last year's team. You know, we're ready, we're ready to move on uh, and attack Albany. The Great Danes are coming off a 2 and 9 season in 2021, with six of those losses being one score ball games. They're confident this football team is going to be a little bit different. 2021 was a, a rough year. There's no question about it. It was a rough year for us, and I have a lot of confidence that, that we're going to have a heck of a football team this year. I really do. The Great Danes lost starting quarterback Jeff Undercuffler to Akron and star senior running back Carl Mofor, both of which accounted for nearly 80% of Albany's total offense last year. The Great Danes look to slide in Joey Carino and pit transfer Todd Sibley to fill in those gaps. You know, we feel good about it, that backfield, and I think that we don't have to rely on one person as much as we have in the past. But taking on a top five team in the country is a tough ask for any FCS program, and the Great Danes aren't lost on that. You know, as coaches, it's not my favorite thing in the world going to play number five or eight Baylor in the country, but there's a part of me that's looking forward to it. There's a part of me that knows the challenges that lie ahead for us, you know, and it's, it's very difficult. It's no question Albany has nothing to lose in week one, so expect the Great Danes to give Baylor everything they have in the school's biggest game to date. 